the Joe Rogan experience. Have I told you my xylitol story? I wanted to tell you this. Xylitol. Do you chew they... gum? I know you do. I yes. remember like after show, like you, you chew gum, right? Sure. Do you use xylitol gum? I don't think so. <gasps> oh my God, you have to do it. Okay. Really? I'm what, gonna is, t- what is so good about xylitol? So I'm going to tell you my story. Xylitol well, xyl- is, it's like a Xylitol sugar is from substitute, birch. Right? It's from the birch plant we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. It's the natural, it's naturally found in plants. So it's that birch, you know what they're whipping? Yep. It's from that plant. Okay. It, um, yes, it is used as a, like if you're eating it, you know, I think it could cause like, like the erythritol kind of thing effect where it's like too much uh, GI distress. But when you're chewing gum or t- using toothpaste, um, these many studies have shown that it kills uh, anaerobic bacteria like Streptococcus coctus mutans that cause um, cavities and dental decay. Really? So, so here's my story. Like multiple studies in humans showing this. It's like a big deal. So I went to this is before I was before I had my son. Um, I went to the dentist. And my dentist is a really he's great, and he did an X ray. We were doing a cleaning, you know, dental hygiene thing, and and he comes back and he's like, "You've got two cavities," and I was like, "How the hell do I have cavities? I don't even need sugar. Like, you know, I've just I've got like a bad oral microbiome or something that I've just for for, for years or I don't know. Mm. I shouldn't have cavities because I don't need sugar. But anyways, I had so he goes, "You have two cavities. They're at the point of no return where, you know, like you they're." I guess they penetrate the enamel a certain amount and they're like, you have to, you have to like get them out. And so the way I am is I always like to like look into everything before I do anything. It's like, okay, this is not my field. I understand. I told them, I'm like, I'm going to do some reading research and see if I can find, you know, if there's any, you know, possibility that I don't have to like get a filling. Right. And he's like, okay, well, if you find anything, please send it my way. So, um, so then I found out I was pregnant and I was so I was like, okay, well, I can't go back to the dentist. And at that point, I um I was like looking through everything, all my toiletries and everything. I'm like, what do I have to get rid of? What's in there that could be harmful? And so I was like, fluoride, like in my toothpaste. So I was like, I don't want to use fluoride toothpaste anymore. And um these stories are gonna connect, but so uh, fluoride fluoride has been shown. A lot of people are worried about the effects on the brain and the only solid evidence I could find on negative effects of fluoride on the brain are in utero, meaning pregnant women, and, you know, and the effects on babies. And I don't know if toothpaste has enough to even do anything, but in my mind, I was like, nope, getting rid of the fluoride. You right. know, um, I, I, got a, I got a water filter that got rid of the fluoride in the water, and I was like doing all that. So I came across this xylitol toothpaste, and I was like, what is this xylitol toothpaste? So I started doing research on xylitol. While I was looking for alternatives, because I was like, Tom's a main. I can't use that crap. I've tried it before. It's so like, gross. It's like, it's like my, te- my teeth get dirtier. <laughs> I hate that it stuff. It tastes so, so terrible. I was like, it makes your breath not. smell worse. It does. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so I was like, I've got to find something other than Tom's a main. So I came across this xy- xylitol stuff. So I started doing research, and then I found all these studies. And not only did I find studies that, like, it you know, basically kills these bacteria that cause cavities, the S mutants. Pregnant women that chew xylitol gum, by the way, the studies were with gum, not the toothpaste. The ch- people were chewing this gum. And pregnant pregnant women, like if they were like six months pregnant, the study started at six months, and they chewed this xylitol gum all the way up until anywhere between the child, you know, the baby being six months. And there were some studies that went out like a year. Um, and then they met, the, the, the researchers measured um, the oral bacteria of the toddlers and then they measured in multiple years out while, as they became children and the mothers chewing it uh, chewing the gum it, it lowered the incidence of the um s mutants in the children because you know mothers kiss their mm-hmm. kids and you transfer yeah. oral bacteria and so they're like they're chewing the xylitol gum had a positive effect on the child's oral microbiome and i was like fuck yeah i'm gonna do this so i was like I gave myself TMJ. Like I chewed so much xylitol gum while I was pregnant, and like I still like to this day I chew. I have some with me right now. But TMJ is. Uh, is it, am I saying it, the right thing? Yeah. Like Mandalor, like my it was like popping. Yeah. My jaw was. I was eating yeah. a lot of sautéed kale and chewing a lot of xylitol <laughs> gum when I was pregnant. Wow. And so, uh, but it totally fixed itself, thankfully. So, anyways. A year goes by, I have, I have my son. Eventually, I'm like, okay, I got to go back to the dentist because, you know, pregnancy makes your teeth worse. There's, like, all this stuff about you you're bleeding, your gums bleed. There's, like, there's some kind of term where, like, women get, like, like what's that, periodontitis or mm-hmm. gingivitis, one of those two. It's bad. Anyways, so I go back to the dentist. We do the x-rays, and I'm like, oh, he's going to tell me about the stupid cavities, and I haven't done the research. <laughs> you right. know, and he goes, he comes in, and he goes, I've never seen this before, but your cavities are gone. 
and he shows the x-rays and he shows me before and after he's like they're totally gone and and i was like that's amazing i was like is it the pregnancy is did and he's like no he's like we get women coming in here after and it's like worse and i said the only thing that i did that i could think of is like my obsessive xylitol gum chewing which i still do and um the fact that it does decrease the, you know, I don't know how it would affect an already formed cavity, but my cavities are, are gone. <laughs> so, Whoa. So my doctor, my, I, see, my dentist is great because he like, you know, any dentist could just be like, nope, they're still there. Like, I don't know what the x-ray is supposed to look like, you know. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> so, so I feel like he's a trustworthy guy. And I, like, yeah. I like that. That's but a sad isn't that thing crazy? you have to worry about shifty dentists. But I, yeah, but you yeah. do. Uh, anyone, yeah. right? Right. So that is crazy. So the xylitol gum somehow. So you think that what it did was affect your the microbiome of your yeah. mouth? Yeah. Oh, and it showed. There's also studies showing that it decreases the incidence of. I, I'm talking about Staphylococcus mutans because it's the only one I remember. But there's another one that causes dental decay. But it didn't affect any of the good bacteria in the mouth. Wow. So, um, so I was like, and now I'm just like, it's all Staphylococcus mutans. That that that's the same. Is that the same family that you get from staph infections? No. I don't think no. So. no. Different stuff? Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, there's lots of different staphylococcus, blah, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But, so it's a... So the xylitol gum, Joe, you need to get on it. It's really okay. awesome. <laughs>